Good morning, friends. Right in the previous session, we have seen fundamentals of uh, leaf spring. Right later on, uh, the construction of leaf spring and uh, various uh, components in the leaf spring. These things we already discussed in the previous sessions. Now. Another important thing in the leaf spring construction is how to get equalized stress in all the leaves of the leaf spring. Right? This is equalized stress in leaf spring, is also known as nipping, nipping in leaf spring. Right? So, from our previous analysis, we have seen that the stress in the full length leaves is 50 percent greater than that of graduated leaves. That's what you consider in our earlier sessions. Sigma B, F is equal to 3 by 2 into Sigma G. Stress in pulling leaf is equal to 3 by 2 times that of stress in graduated leaves. That's what we have considered from our previous analysis. Right? So, from this statement, the stress in the full length leaves is 50% greater than the stress in the graduate leaves. Okay, but here to get the maximum advantage of leaf spring, all the leaves should be of equally stressed. Okay, so in order to utilize the material to the best advantage, all the leaves should be of equally stressed. Okay. So then how do you get equal stress in all the leaves of the leaf spring, right? So to make all the leaves with the equal stress, we need to consider the concept called uh, nip, nipping, right? So this condition may be obtained by two methods or by two ways, right? So first one is by pulling the leaves of less than radiated leaves, right? So the first method to make the full length leaves stress is equal to graduated leaves is by making full length leaves of smaller thickness than graduated leaves. The thickness of full length leaves should be smaller compared with the thickness of graduated leaves. Then what will happen if the thickness is reduced? Right? We have the bending stress equation sigma b is equal to bending moment m into Distance of fiber from the neutral axis, my by i, my by i. So, if thickness is reduced, y value is reduced. If thickness is reduced, y value will reduce. Obviously, the bending stress will be lowered. Right? So, like this, the stress in the full length leaves will be uh, reduced to some extent. Right? That is the first method to get equalized compressive stress or equalized stress in both the full length and graduated leaves of leaf spring right by making full length leaves of smaller thickness than graduated leaves in this way the full length leaves will induce, will induce smaller bending stress due to small distance from the neutral axis to the leaf. okay so mathematically Sigma B is equal to MY by I. If Y is reduced, Sigma B is also reduced. Like this, you can reduce the stress in the bending stress in the full length leaves. That is the first method. And the second method is by giving greater radius of curvature to the full length leaves than that of graduated leaves. Right? As we have discussed in the previous class, the leaves of leaf spring initially provide with certain amount of curvature that is known as initial curvature. The leaves are cambered to the certain curvature initially. When the load is applied, the curvature disappears and the leaves become straight. And when the load is removed, once again, these leaves will get the curvature like your initial curvature. Okay, but while giving the curvature 
try to give more curvature try to give more curvature to the full length leaves than the of graduated leaves right full length leaves will be given more radius of curvature right sorry less curvature higher radius of curvature okay so greater radius of curvature means the curvature is less the inverse of radius of curvature is curvature so the full length leaf will be having a less curvature right than the graduated leaves look at the figures so that it will be clear to you so this is let us assume this top one is a full length leaf and the bottom one is graduated leaf right so the curvature of full length leaf is less compared to the curvature of graduated leaf so this full length leaf seems to be always tried on and this graduated leaf is about a curved one right obviously the radius of curvature of this top leaf or full length leaf is more the center the center of this will be somewhere at infinity distance and the center of this graduated leaf will be very much close to the uh, the leaf that's why the radius of curvature of full length leaf is very much high and radius of curvature of graduated leaf is somewhat less so this here we are saying two different radii of curvature per different for full length leaf and graduated leaves so that there will be a gap between the full length leaf and the graduated leaf this is known as a nip this gap is known as nip and it is denoted with c the gap between the full length leaf and graduated leaf at the center of the leaf is known as nip and this nip is denoted with a capital c right this is uh, different from our uh, previous helical spring terminology spring index right so here in the leaf strings capital capital c is nothing but a nip okay so what is w here w is the load applied on the leaf spring at the support is we have already considered in the previous uh, session and 2w is the reactive force acting on the leaf spring at the axle at the axle now here we have the new term called wb what is wb load applied by the tightening of the bolt load applied by the tightening of the central bolt it is wb it is shared by the ends of the gradient release where it is in contact with the daily spring I'm sorry the full length leaf right so this load may causes the ding at this part that's why the ends are trimmed and rounded to the certain amount of curvature okay so this is about uh, different terms in this uh, figure right so what is nipping and uh, nipping is the phenomenon of getting stress in full length leaves as well as the graduated leaves of leaf spring okay so from our previous analysis we know that the stress of full length leaves is 50% greater than that of stress that of graduated leaves but it should not be happened for the great utilization of a leaf spring in order to get uh, the maximum or the best utilization or uh, the best advantage all the leaves of the leaf spring should be of equally stress right so this condition will be fulfilled by two methods one is by taking different thickness of different thickness values for full length leaves and graduated leaves uh, separately right and second one is by giving greater radius of curvature to the full length leaves than that of graduated leaves right then by giving so the leaves are when the leaves are assembled to form a spring the gap for the clearance between the clearance will be left between the leaves this initial gap is called the nip right so that's what we have discussed till now now how do you get equalized stress in both full length and graduated leaves mechanically by doing these type of alterations to the leaf spring that's what we need to discuss here right so when the central bolt 
holding the various leaves together is tight tensor. Central board, what is the purpose of central board? It is to hold all the leaves together, right? So, for example, if you consider two full length leaves and four graduated leaves, all the leaves to be bundled or all the leaves to be kept as a stack together, right? So, for this purpose, we are using a central band or a board, a central board, right? For example, here we are considering a central board which is holding various leaves together, right? So, this let us assume that this is tightened. This board is tightened. So, due to this tightening of the board, it induces some amount of uh, load on these leaves, both uh, length leaves as well as graduated leaves. When the load is applied on these members, obviously the stresses are developed. And these stresses are known as initial stresses. These stresses are known as initial stresses. These stresses are no way concerned with the load acting on the vehicle. These stresses are due to the load caused by the tightening of the central board. That's why these stresses are known as initial stresses. Right? So, when the central bolt is tightened, the full length leaf will bend back and have the initial stress in the direction opposite to that of normal load. Right? So, when the load is applied, when the load is applied, this full length leaf will move downwards and graduated leaf will move slightly upwards. Right? So, that this gap is minimized and the gap is nullified, right? So, when the load is applied and bringing this leaf to this line position, right? So, it is subjected to a load. It is subjected to a load. And this spring is always tries to come back to the initial conversion when the load is removed. That means it is induced with an amount of stress which is opposite in sense to the direction of load. Or the sense of load. That's what uh, we have discussed in this first point. The length of full length leaf will bend back and have an initial stress in the direction opposite to that of normal load. And the graduated leaves will have initial stress in the same sense, in the same direction as that of normal load. Right? So when the load is applied by tightening the board, load is vertically downwards. Let us take a uh, applying load vertically downwards. The stress developed in the full length leaf is vertically upwards. Vertically upwards. That is opposite to the direction of the load. Whereas in the graduated leaf the load is the load is vertically downwards and the stress is also vertically downwards. That means both stress and load on the graduated leaves will have same sense that's what uh, we have discussed here right okay so these stresses are nothing but initial stresses these stresses are nothing but initial stresses now the other side the stress is due to load on the vehicle right let us consider the load is added by this string by applying load in the truck of the vehicle right so the load is gradually applied to this thing. Then pulling leaf is first relieved of this initial stress, right? So the due to the tightening of the board, the curvature of the pulling leaf is increased. This curvature slowly disappears, and the spring becomes straightened, right? When the spring becomes straightened. The full length leaves first relieved from this initial stress, which is induced in the full length leaf due to the tightening of the bolt. Right? So, then stressed in the opposite direction. The full length leaf will be stressed less than the gradient leaf. That's why, right? So, the stress is some amount of stress is subtracted from the stress caused by the load on the weekend, the load on the leaf spin, Right? So, the initial stress is vertically opposed, the stress due to load on the vehicle is vertically almost. Then obviously the result stress is, right, the algebraic difference of these two, 
right obviously the full length leaf will be subjected to the lesson of the right so the initial gap between the leaves may be adjusted so that the maximum under the maximum load condition the stress in all the leaves is equal or if desired the full length leaves may have a lower stress okay that's how you can reduce the stress in the full length leaves to some extent right by adjusting gap between these two kind of leaves you can equalize the stress right so this gap is adjusted so that the stress in both the leaves will be equal okay so this is desirable in automobile springs in which full length is applied for low stresses right the full length leaves carries so why we need to design a full length leaves for the low stresses compared to the graduated leaves right apart from these bending stresses the full length leaves also subjected to also subjected to stresses due to twisting moment stresses due to the swaying of the car swaying in the sense uh, when the vehicle taking turn so the uh, vehicle is subjected to extra stresses and these stresses also acts on the leaf spring right so and these stresses due to swaying will be shared by full length leaves that's why the full length leaves apart from the bending stresses the full length leaves also shares the stresses due to twisting stresses due to the swaying of the car hands to provide some cushioning to to share these stresses right the full length leaves must be designed to lower value of bending stresses right so how to design the full length leaves uh, to lower value of bending stresses by taking proper gap between the full length leaves and gap uh, leaves initially that is called nipple the value of c decides the amount of stress in the full length leaves how how far it is uh, less compared to the uh, stress in the graduated leaves okay now mathematically you can find out or you can derive this uh, nipping right Consider that under maximum load conditions, so the stress in all the leaves will be equal. Then at maximum load, the total deflection of the graduated leaves will exceed the deflection of full length leaves by an amount equal to initial gap. Okay, so this is clear. Since the full length leaves are provided with a smaller curvature and graduated leaves are provided with a somewhat higher curvature. Right. So when the load is applied, when the load is applied, both the leaves are deflected. Okay, but the amount of deflection in graduated leaves will be higher compared to the amount of deflection in the full length leaves. So because when you measure the distance of uh, the bottommost point of full length leaf or graduated leaf uh, from the uh, line uh, line of eyes. So full length leaves will have small gap, and the graduated leaves will have higher gap, and these gaps will be considered the deflections, right? So you can mathematically express the deflection in graduated leaf is equal to deflection in full length leaf plus c, right? By looking at the figure, you can understand this statement. So let us say this is a line passing through the ends, and let us say this is uh, delta f right and this is delta sorry this is c delta f plus c is equal to delta g that's what we have in this uh, mathematical uh, equation delta g is equal to delta f plus delta c and you know the equations for the deflections in full length and graduated leaves from our earlier uh, discussions so you can write the equation for the gap c or nip c is equal to delta g minus delta f and delta g and delta f we have the equation 6 w g l cube divided by n g into e v t cube and these equations we have 
uh, consider from our uh, previous uh, discussions, right? Now, since this is in terms of uh, deflections, right? By considering this nip C, proper value of C, proper gap C, you can make the stresses equal. So, sigma G is equal to sigma F, right? Sigma G, sigma is equal to 6 WGL divided by this one, right? So, from this, rho divided by number of active points, rho divided by number of active points. From this, you can write the equation for WG and WF in terms of total load and total number of points. NG plus NF is equal to N. Okay, so that's what uh, we have uh, discussed, right? Now, substitute the values of this load shared by graduated leaf and load shared by full length leaf on this equation. C is equal to, you can replace WG and WF in terms of uh, this uh, total load, W. So, finally, you can write the equation for C, 2W L cube divided by N into E into V into T cube. Okay. So, now, the load on the clipboards load on the clipboards required to close the gap is determined by the fact that the gap is equal to the initial deflections of full length and graduated leaves. Okay, so the initial deflections of full length and graduated leaves. So what is the deflection formula? WFL cube divided by this one. Instead of WF, you substitute since the load on the poles is equal to WP. It is equally shared by Graduated leaves and full length leaves. That's why for full length leaves it is considered as WP by 2. For graduated leaves it will be considered as WP by 2. And delta F and delta equations are similar to this equations. This is delta F equation. This is delta G equation. Right? So then C is equal to, here C is equal to delta G minus delta F. Then what about here C is equal to delta F plus delta G? How do you get these uh, two different, uh, two contradictory equations here? This is with reference to the load acting on the spring due to tightening of the boulder. Load acting on the spring due to tightening of the boulder. But this is due to load acting on the spring due to load on the vehicle. Right? So this is load acting on the spring or load acting on the spring leaves due to vehicle load and here due to due to tightening of the bolt okay so uh, you must differentiate these two equations now you will get 2 wl cube and simplify this equation finally you will get wp what is wb the load applied by tightening of the bolt on the leaf spring WB is equal to 2 into in terms of uh, the additional load, right? 2 NF NG into W divided by N into this one, right? So the final stress in the spring leaves will be the stress in the full length leaves due to applied load minus initial stress. The final stress, how do you get the full length leaves, right? Since both the stresses, the stress due to tightening board and stress due to the external load both in the opposite direction. That's why you need to consider the algebraic sum. That's why the vertical load minus or uh, stress due to vertical load minus stress due to vertically downward load. Right? So this is stress due to external load minus stress due to bolt load is equal to 6. You can simplify 6L by NFT, NFT square is common factor. WF minus WB by 2. Okay. So, you know the equation for WF in terms of W. Similarly, you know the equation for WB in terms of W. And substitute these two values. Finally, you simplify the equation 6WL by BT square. So, you will get equation in terms of this one. W. 6WL. And Bt square. So this is final stress in full length leaves. Then what about the final stress in graduated leaves? It is equal to this. That's why here 
the final stress in the spring leaves uh, it is not mentioned whether it is full length leaves or graduated leaves this is the stress in spring leaves since the stress in all the leaves is equal is equal that is the aim of this uh, nipping right so keeping gap between full length leaf and graduated leaf of uh, magnitude c is uh, to make uh, the stresses in both the leaves should be equal right so that's how we have uh, same stress in both the full length leaves and graduated leaves that is denoted with sigma we don't have any suffix like f or g here because whether it is a graduated leaf or a full length leaf both are having same stress right so that's what the, the aim of uh, taking nip c between full length and graduated leaves in the uh, the leaf spring right if the stresses are equal you will get uh, the maximum advantage of this uh, leaf spring uh, advantage in the sense uh, you will get more functional benefits uh, i think it is clear